Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Tinker's Construct in Minecraft 1.16.5. Now as you can see here, our tutorial is being updated right now in this video, so the video you're watching will be here when you go to this page. However, right now, the last time Tinker's Construct was out for Minecraft, it was in version 1.12.2. So it has been forever since Tinker's Construct has been updated and Tinker's Construct just so happens to be my favorite Minecraft mod ever, so I'm so happy it's finally updated to this new version, and today we're going to be showing you every single step of installing it. Why do I like Tinker's Construct so much? Well, it's a really, really cool mod that allows you to create your own custom tools and ores and so much stuff, and it gives you a foundry style thing here, as you can see in this image, um, and basically that allows you to create molds and create, using those molds, custom tools and different things that allow you to have better tools, better alloys, hammers that mine out big groups of blocks together. It truly is amazing, and that's why I like Tinker's Construct. First and foremost, though, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to set up your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting Tinker's Construct. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and it's going to actually take you here. Now, as I said, the video you're watching now will be up here at the top, but nevertheless, it's been a while since this has been able to be updated, so it's an old, old, old version. Nevertheless, once you're here though, scroll down and you will see the download Tinker's Construct button. When you click on that button, it's going to take you off to Tinker's Construct's official download page. Right as we can see here, it was last updated two days ago. That's how new this version is. To download the newest version of Tinker's Construct, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see the Minecraft. 1.16 section. Under that, you'll see Tinker's Construct there for 1.16.5. Go ahead and click the orange button to the right of this, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Now, I will say right now, this is in alpha. Expect bugs. Expect there to be blocks that aren't actually in the game that will be added in the future, but it is out, and that's the most important part. Nevertheless, once it says downloading now, wait a few seconds, and in the bottom left, we do see T Construct 1.16.5. We can keep that in the bottom left on Google Chrome. You'll probably need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to keep or save the mod. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. Tinker's Construct does have a compatibility mod, meaning it needs another mod to be able to run. That mod, in this case, is going to be Mantle, and if you go to the description down below, it's the third link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is our guide on how to get Mantle. Specifically, you want to come here to this Download Mantle link. When you click on that link, it's going to take you to Mantle's official download page. And just like with Tinker's Construct, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.16 section, and then you want to download Mantle for 1.16.5 up here at the top. Now, this one's in beta, so it's going to be a little more stable, but even the compatibility mod of Tinker's Construct is going to have some bugs. Nevertheless, in the bottom left, we do have Mantle-1.16.5, so we can go ahead and click the Keep button on that to save it. Again, you'll probably have to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, there's one more thing we need to download, and you've probably already guessed it, and that's going to be Forge. Forge is what allows all of these Minecraft mods to work together and allows Tinker's Construct to run in game. So nevertheless, to download Forge, you want to go to the fourth link down below and it's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for Forge. I'm going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you do have any in-depth issues, come to wa watch this video here, go through this tutorial in text and it will help you out more. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this green download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official website where we want to make sure MC 1.16.5 is selected. As you can see, Minecraft 1.16.5 shows there. We're good, but if it doesn't say 1.16.5 here, what you need to do is come over here to the left hand side, click on the plus 1.16 and then click on 1.16.5 and then you'll see MC 1.16.5 here. Once you do that, go under download latest and click on the installer button. After a few seconds, you'll be taken off to add folks for stop! Don't click anything on this page. Do not click anything whatsoever on this page. Just wait. Just sit back, relax, listen to my voice. Whether you find my voice annoying or you love it, just sit back and listen to it for a second. And eventually, a red skip button will appear in the top right. So on this page, once you get to add focus, sit here and wait. And then a red skip button will appear after about 10 seconds in the top right. Click that red skip button in the top right. And when you do it in the bottom left on Google Chrome, you will see Forge 1.16.5 download. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll be in the center of your screen and it'll stay Forge 1.16.5. As long as it does say Forge 1.16.5 in the title, you're good to keep it on Google Chrome and save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. 
Unfortunately, add focus is something Forecast used to be able to keep its services up and running, but it does make things annoying and a little tricky. And that's why I always make sure I stress that you only want to click the red skip button on this page. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Tinker's Construct, we have Mantle, which is required for Tinker's Construct, and we have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder in Windows. That's actually not the correct one there. But nevertheless, you'll have a downloads file folder in Windows. Go ahead and click on that. And then in here, you'll be able to find Mantle and Tinker's Construct. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once you've got Mantle, Tinker's Construct, and Forge on your desktop, we're going to start off with Forge. Now, if your Forge logos look different from mine, like these logos look different, no worries. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a minute. But let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge. Click on open with, and then you should have Java here. And if you do, click on it and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, or if your logos look weird and you want to fix that, here's what you can do. Go to the description down below and install Java. This is going to allow you to install Java for Minecraft mods. Tinker's Construct being a Minecraft mod, you need this version of Java for it. So go to this tutorial. It's quick and easy in three simple steps, and it really does go in depth. We've also got a video for you. Now, that's going to allow you to open up Forge 95% of the time. But some of you out there will still have issues, and specifically, your files may still not look like Java files. To fix that, what you want to do is go to the description down below and go here. This is the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them to Java once again, kind of linking them up right like so. So nevertheless, go to the description down below, go through that tutorial there, jar fix, again, three simple steps, and then your jar files will work. So finally, we can minimize, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, click OK, and then it's going to open up the mod system installer for Forge. Once we're here, we just want to click on install client and click OK, and it's going to go through, install, do everything it needs to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft, right? So we're getting Forge installed. As you can see, it's remapping the jar with the Forge files, getting everything set up. It looks like it's frozen, but it's not frozen. I promise it just for some reason does this. It sits at 100% even though it's not actually there. And then eventually it comes up and says successfully install client profile Forge for version 1.16.5. Awesome. We go and click OK, and it will close out of that. You can actually remove Forge from your desktop at this point. If it won't let you, no worries, it'll let you after closing Minecraft. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we need to make sure we select our Forge profile. To do that, you want to click on the little arrow to the left of the play button here, this little arrow, and then you should have Forge. If you have that, go ahead and click on it. But if you don't, or if you do, and it doesn't say 1.16.5-Forge under it, here's what you need to do. You need to go ahead and click on the installations tab up here at the top, and then you want to make sure modded is checked. Now in some cases, that is going to be the case. Modded won't be checked. And as you can see, if modded is not checked, Forge just disappears. You click on modded, Forge disappears. As long as it says 1.16.5-Forge under it, you're going to go ahead and click the green play button. Otherwise, if you've clicked modded and it's still not there, here's what you need to do. Click on the plus new button here, and then you want to create a new profile. Now, my profile is going to be named play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that's our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.5 grief protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests and a player based economy. It's truly amazing. And then aquatic surviving having daily rewards, a slash shop based economy. Awesome. We love both aquatic and medieval survival. And then on top of that, we have an amazing Skyblock server, literally the best out there with an awesome storyline, custom challenges, custom islands, custom minions. It's truly amazing. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. You will love it. Nevertheless, for our version dropdown box, this is the most important part. When you click on that version dropdown box, you want to find release 1.16.5-Forge. As you can see, mine is up here at the top. I actually have two versions. Mine's up here at the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours, but again, mine's right here. So let's go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do that, but we're making a video here, so I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. And then finally, we can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile, and under it, most importantly, it says 1.16.5-Forge. So we can go ahead and hover over that, click the green play button. It's going to give us this warning. It's basically just saying that, hey, you're playing modded Minecraft. Do you know that? And yes, you do. So click I understand the risk and click play. Now it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft, and it's quick and easy to install Tinker's Construct at this point. The hard part is over. All you've got to do is do some basically clicking and then a drag and drop and you're done, right? There's no more creating profiles or anything like that. It's a very, very simple from this point forward. We just have to wait for Forge to open, which can unfortunately take a few minutes. So anyway, as you can see, Minecraft is now opening up here. And yeah, we're just kind of waiting. We're waiting for the Minecraft main menu. And I'm just going to keep talking because I like, see, I like to keep these videos sometimes in like one cut simply because it shows I'm not doing any trick or anything like that. I don't know. Some people try to accuse me of like editing mods that don't actually work. That's never happened ever. Anyway, let's go ahead and... 
once we're on the Minecraft main menu, we can click on the mods button. So again, from the Minecraft main menu, click on mods, and then the bottom left, go ahead and click on open mods folder. So mods main menu, and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left of the mods tab. Once you're in this mods folder here, all you want to do is take mantle and tinker's construct and drag and drop them into your mods folder from your desktop. Again, make sure mantle and tinker's construct are both in there. If they're not both in there, neither of them will work. So let's go ahead and close out of our mods folder now. If we come back to Minecraft, these aren't here and they're never going to appear here until we click done and quit Minecraft. Now, again, the hard part is over. All you got to do is open up the Minecraft launcher and then most likely it's already going to be selected, but just make sure that it does say 1.16.5-forge under the version that is selected. If it isn't, go ahead and select the version here in this list that does and then click the green play button. Most likely, as long as you click the checkbox, you won't have to confirm that you're playing modern Minecraft again. It's just going to open up. But most importantly, you'll see Tinker's Construct and Mantle are recognized there. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to work, but that means that Forge says, hey, these are in the correct spot and where we look for mods. We're going to see if they are mods, and if they are, we're going to open them up, and you're watching this video. It's, it's going to work. That's why you're watching this video, so you can kind of guarantee it's going to work if, uh, if you see them there at this point. The only reason it might not is if, for whatever reason, you didn't have a 1.16.5 version of Mantle or Tinker's Construct. And if we look up here right above Minecraft, you'll be able to see 1.16.5 is in both of those versions, so we know we're good. If it's not for you, make sure you go and download the correct version. We went through that at the beginning of this tutorial. But nonetheless, as you can see, the Minecraft main menu is now loading up. And most importantly, if we click on the Mods tab, we do have Tinker's Construct. God, it feels good to run this mod in 1.16.5 and Mantle there. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new world and we're gonna call this Tinker's Construct, right like so. And if I can spell correctly, Tinker's Construct. I'm going to make creative just for testing. And we're going to create a new world. I will see you after a very quick jump cut when we are in game with Tinker's Construct. Here we are in Minecraft and immediately in our hand, we have materials and you. This is basically the guidebook for Tinker's Construct. And you don't know how long I have waited to have a materials and you book in a modern Minecraft. Look, we've even got bees. That's awesome. So if we go ahead and open this book, you'll be able to see all of the stuff that is in Tinker's Construct. Now, it does seem like they do have a bit of a more limited set up right now, but you can see these custom pickaxes that you can craft here and all the different things that you could do, swords, broadsword, all of that awesome stuff. Like I said, it does seem like they have a bit of a limited selection here at first. That's to be expected. I mean, this mod is huge. A lot of stuff in here. So, Nevertheless, let's see what they do have in here. Quite a bit of stuff already, but uh, what I'm more of interested in is we do have the smeltery stuff. So this is how you can cast. And as you can see, you have all of these different you know, things that you can cast ores into, and then you can build smelteries as well. This isn't an in-depth guide on how to use Tinker's Construct. However, I do love this mod enough that I would do a video like that if you all wanted. So let me know in the description down below if you don't mean to do a, uh, you know, basically a mod overview of Tinker's Construct. But we've shown you how to install it at this point. From here, it's on to you. Materials and you will show you pretty much everything you need to know, which is one of the best things about materials and you, if you will. So if we go back here, I'm sure we can go into um, introduction and I'm sure in the introduction, we're probably gonna have a kind of look. Let's see, nope, doesn't seem like it's in there yet. Um, I'm seeing if I can figure out how to set up a smeltery. Maybe it unlocks these days. Does, is that the case? Like sometimes that'll be the case. Yeah, all right, does that unlock? the smeltery stuff. We're going to see. I don't know. If not, that's fine. Like I said, this is a very much so in beta. Expect things to be broken. Wouldn't surprise me if we have a few dead blocks, which basically means they just look like uh, the void. Um, doesn't look like we do, which is all actually kind of impressive. But, um, oh, okay. Maybe they have separated this stuff into different books. It looks like that's the case. So we have now different books that you can then go into, and I'm guessing you can go through a progression tree to kind of unlock this, but we're kind of skipping the... Uh, Skipping ahead here. But nevertheless, there you have it. That is how you can download and install Tinker's Construct and in Minecraft 1.16.5. Man, it is nice to have this mod in a modern version of Minecraft. It really is. Like, I am so excited to have this mod. You have no idea. Okay, finally. So here we are. We can uh, go through, like, the different seared stone and different stuff like that that you need to set up the smeltery. And, um, yeah, awesome. I love it. Welcome to Tinker's Construct, everybody. As you can see, these right here are also added by Tinker's Construct, by the way. Look at that. It's like little special biome areas that you can find, these floating islands. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy all the new tools. If you've never checked this mod out before, check it out. Look up a tutorial on YouTube on how to actually, you know, get a smelter set up and all that stuff. But, um... Yeah, it's really awesome. So, nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. Enjoy Tinker's Construct in Minecraft 1.16.5. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.